one of the things that we were working on in the last video, and that is getting the epoxy finish on all of these. And now this ain't all of them. This is just part of them. And man, I just think it's beautiful, all that natural wood. And uh, whew, boy, he's gonna have to pry those loose. He got them stuck to the table. I should have warned him of that. Yeah. And some of them I see that he's gonna have to put a second coat on because it absorbed it. So yeah, but he'll have to come back over some of these and recoat them. Yeah, probably all of them. I think they're gonna need a second coat. And we routed about the back right here on them. I had him though, just freehand those in, a little slot, and that's for that LED light to snap into. I'll show you. So you see, these LED lights you'll buy have these little springs right here that swing up and snap, you see? And route those out so they'll snap right in there. You can slide and adjust the light where it's centered up here in this piece. Let me show you one of them. And you see just like that, it snapped in there. It's down low enough that when it's up flat onto that ceiling and any spring sticking up there will be inside of the makeup box, the junction box. But it'll be able to go in and you can get it all centered up and you have this nice little setup like it's already done up there in part of our house already. And I have enough of these that we're going to be using them all over the whole place, even outdoors out here everywhere. They're going to get used. You will work out here at the same time you can see the front of the beach. Yeah, that's nice. Joel completed up the tile here in the CR, but it's looking really good. It is, it is. I haven't looked at it. This is my first time to see it, but yesterday I had Mock Mock to put up a solar light as well right out here on this pole out here by the beach so he got that up for me as well and it's just like the other ones I have here on the property actually I've had that for a while now well I'm giving some of the guys a little busy work I've had them bringing sand up, putting in a big hole right here that they have been filling a bunch of like debris from the trees and stuff down here. I'm gonna walk past, there's a lot of ants on the ground right there. So I've had them bringing some sand up, filling that big hole up. And this bamboo, they got a whole bunch in across the road right now, straight across from subdivision. There's a whole bunch of it over there they just brought in from harvesting. And the price is down pretty reasonable right now. So I bought, I think, 20 pieces here. We can get three pieces or maybe four pieces out of each one of how we're going to chop it up. And I'm going to have them to go behind this little bamboo fence and put up a second layer. Well, the come behind right here and put up a second layer up here to house this nylon. Those last waves that came in, we had just a little bit to make it over the top of this bamboo fence. And you can see some of the debris up here inside from it. And uh, then the water was trying to cut out and go through out this side over here through that fence. We're going to go ahead and go up a little higher and keep everybody from jumping in here too. A little bit for security reasons too. But they're going to be working on that, just putting it in directly behind this other bamboo, right up against it. They're going to dig as they go, drive it in, drive it in, drive it in, and work down through there. And uh, we'll probably come behind here 
and backfill more sand up against that, creating kind of like a berm in here. Boy, aren't these just beautiful? I love having all this little wood pieces to add in the house for accent. We just got them spread out here everywhere and still got many more to do. This is just the first ones. But man, they are looking nice. We got the precast in on the. Give that a look. I really like that. And while the concrete that they used was still wet, I took some sandpaper and I rounded off their corners. They had them to a perfect, I mean, very fine, well manicured point. But I didn't want the dangers of somebody hitting themselves on that. Or even just hooking your clothes and stuff, rubbing by on it in that sharp corner. So I round them. I put a radius on them. I feel like that's the right thing to do. Melinda agreed with me on it. So he's cutting that plywood. I bought these casters here, these swivel casters. All with bearings in them, nice roller bearings. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna double that wood up so it's three quarter inch. We're gonna put two layers of it, screw it together really good, and then we're gonna bolt these casters onto it, not just screw these casters on. We're gonna bolt these casters on. Then what I'm gonna do is use that like a little, kind of like a piano dolly a little flat little dolly and I can set this boat motor on it to roll it around where I need to here we want to roll it out the door to the back of the boat and when I set the existing motor that's in the boat out same thing I can set it on that dolly I can take some wood blocks uh, mock up where the motor mounts go on that marine engine now it's not like in a car where they're up on a steel frame and shaped like that these uh, motor mounts on a marine engine run right on a stringer. So stringer is just kind of like a fiberglass over wood block. And so it's pretty simple just to put blocks on the sides of it with bolts in it and mount that motor down. And then that motor will also be where I can roll it around out of my way and stuff of wherever I want to put it or mess with it at the time. I've had that sheet kind of hit off in my garage in here and, uh, I've had those casters bought. I want to go ahead and do that and get that made and done. Yeah, that's perfect. So you see here where they're always cooking here and at this table and stuff here. And then they're taking right here in front of these rooms and they're burning this wood. And you see even the smoke on the wall. Look at that. Got that wall all smoked up. Well, all of that's got to stop too course we have guests here we can't have all this mayhem going on right out the door here so i want the laundry to stop being done here and uh i want to get all of this moved from here all this has got to stop right here it can't be here no more so i'm having to make a change off the side of this little um little boat house little nippa i've got chip making a bamboo frame out here right now and we're going to create Mel a little outdoor wood cooking dirty kitchen off of out here. And we're going to put her a little way to get in and out to it real easy too. Um, Mel is actually really happy for it to be out here. I bought this blue barrel here recently. And... I had my mock take the grinder today and split this thing into two in the two tubs right here. And I just tell you, I'm going to use these for watering my cows. They'll put those little five gallon pails and the cow's head can barely reach in it. They knock them over. They flip them real easy with the little rope. I've even just watched the cows just take their face and just flip it and just knock it down. And so they're just constantly without water. This is something, I, not just my cows, I'm talking about this is a routine here 
in the area and in different places Philippines I've seen using those little lapels but um, I want something better than that so you know I'm used to raising cattle and dealing with this stuff back in the US and this is about the size of a, what we would use for an animal tub right there sometimes just a little shorter and uh, you put water in it and it'll last a little longer and then when you want to move them to a new spot stir it around your hand in there and knock all the algae and stuff loose turn it over flip it out go to the new spot and then fill it back with water again so we get these out there to them in a little bit and that'll improve their lives i'm wanting to get one more of them because i've got uh three animals to feed and water right now and of course they're staked out on ropes right they're not free ranging where they walk to the stop pond. <laughs> um, so I want one more barrel because I can split it in half. And that'll give my third animal a little water tub. And then the fourth piece, I'm going to use it for fattening up that young bull that I bought. I don't need a bull. I'm going to probably turn him into a steer. out here they have steadily been filling this hole in with sand man that nice fresh clean sand feels good on my feet feels really good on my feet and i have to watch out for the karaoke but i guarantee nobody will copyright me off that bad singing out here marvin is steadily cutting bamboo I'm out here hanging out nice little cool spot here in a breeze because I don't need to be out too much I'm still trying to get over this crud um, <clears throat> I didn't video the worst days of it but luckily I had some video recorded and I was able to fill the gap so uh, yeah I spared y'all the worst of it but while we're out here hanging out too um, I want to tell a couple things one thing I get feeling really better because I go out there and I jump in that salt water and swim like I did this yesterday evening. I've done it today just earlier. Head out there in that warm salt water, dive right on down into it, suck it into my sinuses, suck it in there, boy, and then spit it out and suck it in. I'll swim underneath water. I'll even get down and, and get it in my throat, you know, taking a and kind of like a little inhale or almost gaggy really filling my sinuses up with that salt water man you can just feel it releasing and coming out of there every time as soon as i go do that i feel better instantly I'm telling you saline saline it is so funny the doctor next door to me he is a uh like a um what they call that head neck and throat doctor or whatever and he says same thing you know a lot of the meds and things they give and rinses and all that they're a saline solution of course they're medical grade but he said a lot of them if they would just go out here and swim in the beach in the water and actually swim and get it in their ears and get it in their uh sciences that's what it's called uh what's that ear nose and throat ear nose and throat doctor there it is that that's the medicine right there and he goes but there's so many here in the philippines with all this salt water around all these islands and they won't go get in the water or go under the water they'll go stand in the water maybe and and he said that is the best medicine I'm telling you it is my nerve condition it has done miracles for my nerve condition Well, it's almost the end to another day. And they've been building this little cover out here. Just 
so I want to show a little bit more of what we got done here today. Uh, Joel got this little small door under the upstairs little side staircase that goes up. There it is on the side of the staircase going up. And let's run up here real quick. We got all this red iron and Perlin's moved up here the other day to start building that roof structure. We'll be on that soon. Uh, Joel put in the door jam today for this upstairs CR right here. He's getting it all set for the roof deck CR. And up here on the roof deck, my little utility room. He's got this door and jam on as well. And we didn't get doorknobs on it yet, so he just put a little temporary little twister on there. Also, out here on the front of the house today, um, we put precast on top of this little wall right here. And we finished it out. And they're really stand out right now because they're bright orange, but they'll get painted in. But we also put in the gutter pipe. We've had a hole up there for a while that this little um, balcony that stands out right here has a drain and we've got it going down and the one up above has a drain and we've got it coming down and they tee together and we actually brought it inside of this precast and then we've brought it down the front of this little wall and right now Ammon's embedding it in concrete uh, and he's trenched out here and he'll be cutting a little notch in that curb and the gutter water on the front right there for those little uh, little canopy up there. And this balcony here will go out to the street right there. And this is gonna look really good. We'll be capping this around this corner right here with stone, giving it a little column-like look to it. And it's gonna be really great. Really set that off. <laughs> 